Hello everyone, it's Ruth and Peter here from St Helens at Stapleford. It's lovely to be with you again. So this week we're going to be talking a little bit about how Jesus went back up to heaven. So we'll talk more about that soon. Hopefully you've all had a good week and I imagine some of you are a bit excited because this week is half term so hopefully it's a little bit of a break from homeschooling and you might be have, find some other fun things to do. And also later we're going to be telling you about a little competition for half term that you might want to have a go at. So like I said, our story today is going to be about Jesus going back up to heaven. I wonder if you've looked up at the sky recently. I have. Have you? What have you seen, Peter? I looked up at the sky on Monday night when it was very dark. And what did you see? Did you see some stars? I did see some stars and planets, but I also saw something else very special. What was that? I saw the International Space Station flying overhead. Wow. It was like a star riding through the sky. It was beautiful. Wow. And those of you who don't know, the space station is a massive, I think it's about the size of three football pitches, and it's up in space and people are up there on it trying to find out more things about space. So it's brilliant to look up sometimes into the sky. So maybe you might want to go out now and look and see what you can see in the sky. Or maybe later tonight, when it gets dark, you may want to go and see what you can see. You probably won't see the space station because it doesn't come over very often. But you might see some lovely stars. Anyway, I think it's time now for a song. It is. And we have sung this one a few weeks ago, but it's a brilliant song to welcome Jesus. So imagine Jesus going back to heaven Everybody cheering, all the angels, everyone whooing, hooraying for Jesus to come back to heaven, back to his father. And this song is called Praising Jesus Everywhere. So please do get a good space. You're going to be waving and dancing and turning and touching and everything. So here we go. And drag your mum and dad along too. Are you ready? Jesus everywhere 
Wow, well done, everybody. That was really good dancing and waving. I'm sure you were doing all of those things. So now you might want to whew, sit down after all that activity and it's going to be over to Peter for our story. Great. So are you sitting comfortably? Then I shall begin. Forty days had passed since Jesus first rose from the dead. Every now and again he appeared to his friends in different ways. All sorts of places and with different numbers of people. He would talk, he would eat, he would hang out with his disciples. One day Jesus said to his friends, I have done all God wanted me to do. Now it's your turn. Go and tell everyone about me. Make me lots more friends. Tell them everything I've told you, how God wants to rescue them and make them safe. But first of all, you've got to wait here in the city of Jerusalem until God sends his special helper, the Holy Spirit. Then go and tell the whole world about me. It was nearly time for Jesus to go home to God his Father. Will you soon be king? asked his friends. When will you come back? God will decide, Jesus said. They were all together on the Mountain of Olives, near to Jerusalem. Then a cloud came over the mountain as they talked. Where was Jesus? They couldn't see him anymore. But two men were there, two angels in shining clothes. Why are you looking up at that cloud? They said. Jesus has gone home to God, his father. He will come back one day, but not now. Jesus' friends were a bit puzzled, but he told us, I will be with you always, even until the end of the world. And now he's gone away? So what did he mean? They walked down the hillside, talking together, going back to their friends, realising that they would just have to wait and see what happened next. Whoa, thank you, Peter, for that fab story. Wasn't that amazing about hearing Jesus going back up to heaven to be with his father? So you've listened to that story. So maybe now it's time to do a bit more singing. Well, yeah, this song is the looking song and it's very easy. You just look up, then you look down, then you look back and then you look forward and you do a bit of clapping. Uh, Ruth will help you with the clapping in a moment. You have to get it in the right place. You have to do three claps in the same bit and then just hold on a little bit longer for that fourth time round for doing the clapping. Um, yeah, and it's like we were looking up like the disciples were looking up to see where Jesus had gone and we look forward and to when Jesus comes again. So here we go. Look up, see the greatness of the Lord. Look down, feeling humble, feeling small. Look back to the day that Jesus came. Look forward with joy, he's coming back again. Well done, you waited just that bit longer. Here, should we try that again? Here we go. Look up, see the greatness of the Lord. Look down, feeling humble, feeling small. Look back to the day that Jesus came. Look forward with joy. He's coming back again. Whoa, well done, everyone. And now it's time to tell you about our half-term competition. So, in today's story, Jesus tells his disciples to go to the whole world to tell people how much God loves them. So, the competition this week is to make something about a place in the world you would like to visit. Use whatever you have and get creative. And then send in photos of what you have made to Stapleford Parish at aol.com with your name, age and address by the end of Sunday, May the 31st and tell us why you've chosen the place that you did. 
Photographs may appear on the church website or Facebook page. So we will really look forward to seeing some of those entries. That sounds like a fun thing to do Mm, this half term, doesn't it? So if you want to have a go at some other crafts, they can be found on the Stapleford website. That's staplefordparish.org.uk. And again, there's a little clip there of a video you might want to see which tells this story. And if you do look there, you'll see a game about 40 days. So you may want to have a go at playing that game. And that looks quite fun. OK, or you might want to write or draw around your foot because we imagine Jesus being with us wherever we are going. Or maybe some of you want to do some active prayer. Take a bit of time to think of lots of different countries and find out a bit more about them and pray. Or there's quite a fun idea on there about making a do-it-yourself cloud. You need a few different things for that, but it is about watching a cloud or making a cloud go up, which does look fun. Look on the website for that one. Or maybe you want to make something with some food, because we often like that. You might want a biscuit or meringue and add some marshmallows or something like that to make it look like a cloud. So lots of fun activities there to be doing this week, don't you think, Peter? Plenty to be getting on with, yeah. But uh, it's not schoolwork, so you could just enjoy it. And it's great. It's great fun to learn more about God. Exactly. That's what we want. So just to finish off, you may want to all sit down now, just relax after all of that, and maybe just take a little bit of time to pray. I know some of you like to grab your teddy at this point. And if you want to just stop the podcast for a moment and pass your teddy round and maybe all say a prayer about some of the things that you want to thank God for and maybe some of the things that you want to ask God for as well, maybe to help some other people or anything for yourself. And then we'll just finish by saying, May God the Father watch over us. God the Son walk with us. God the Spirit, work through us. Please be with us all this week, God, and thank you that you love us so much. Amen. So it's been lovely to be with you again, and don't forget, if you want to enter that competition, please do, and do email your entries across, and we'll look forward to seeing them. It's been great again this week to see some photos from the last couple of weeks of actually some people who made some houses and even castles and even from the previous week we saw some great um pig masks and pig pictures so thank you for all of those things that people have been sharing with us and we hope you have a great week yeah and just remember the story ended waiting to see what happened next so listen in for next week because you will find out why jesus went away and why that's good news. Bye. Bye.